Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Shezabelle and today I wanted to give you my top 6 uh, Chinese dramas that I recommend you to watch These are in no particular order, it's not from my most favourite to the one that I least like They are all brilliant, they are all my favourites It's just these ones I felt were more the ones that really made me get hooked and really want to carry on watching and really encouraged me within my Mandarin learning uh, because a lot, um, well all of them, um, I felt like I learned quite a lot of words and phrases from all of them and the first one which I'll tell you about in a moment I watched five times so that's how much I enjoyed it. Okay so the first one is called Love Keeps Going that stars the actress Cindy Wang and actor Mike Herr. This is actually the second drama I ever watched in Mandarin. The first one I've just not included today because that was the first time I ever watched a Mandarin drama and obviously it's very advanced native level. So that's why I've not included it, although it is a good drama. And it's called Hi My Sweetheart, which has Rainy Yang and Sholo in it. So if you've heard of that or you haven't, go check it out. It's really good. Um, Love Keeps Going, I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, the story's great, the acting's great, but just the Mandarin itself, there's a lot of repetition in there and I just basically fell in love with the whole drama and after watching it once, I watched it like four times after that. So the story behind Love Keeps Going is Cindy, who plays the lead character, is basically, uh, it's, it shows when she's a child and she eavesdrops on her parents and they're talking about which child they want in the divorce not very nice but she overhears them say that they neither of them want her so obviously that's really traumatic and really upsetting for her so she does everything in her power to you know suddenly become clever and learns lots of skills and just betters herself as a person which you fast forward into the future where she meets her future boyfriend and he also likes her for the same reason as well she's really handy she can fix cars she can do this she can do that and that's how they got together and then sometime after she meets his younger brother and he can see that she obviously does all this stuff for everyone else's approval which you know you shouldn't do so he sort of teaches her and says you know you don't need to be the best at everything for you know someone to like you or love you so it's a really nice story of how um their friendship develops and then you'll see later how the story goes so i definitely recommend that like I said, I watched it like five times after watching it the first time and you know how most Chinese dramas are like 40 minutes to one hour episode. There was one particular night when I was still watching it for the first time so I didn't know how the ending went and I think I'd watched about three or four episodes at this point and I just thought oh, I better check my phone to see what the time is and I looked at my phone it was like 4am I was like whoa. I need to go to bed, I've got work tomorrow. So that's how good it is. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, so next on my list is Devil Beside You. This stars Rainy Yang and again, Mike Hur. I became a big fan of him. But actually, Devil Beside You is older than Love Keeps Going because he's got long hair and he's a lot younger, but whatever about the timeline, like it's a really good drama. Um, so yeah, this is basically, uh, the lead Rainy and Mike are both at high school and she has a crush on this other guy in the school and she writes him a love letter accidentally um, drops it into the wrong person which is him and obviously he, obviously he finds out that oh you know she likes this other guy and but she doesn't want the whole school to know so he kind of makes her like run around for him so that he'll keep her secret but then their their friendship ends up ends up developing and they, they get really close however the plot twist is um their parents end up getting together so they're actually going to be step siblings so you see how the story unravels and unfolds um this drama i feel really helped progress my chinese because you know i just watch it over and i listen to what they're saying and i try and repeat what they're saying and mimic it and i sent a message to my friend um on wechat and i was like listen to this what does this sound like and I basically said this spiel that she says and he actually sent me an audio or wrote back and said you actually sound native and I was like wow amazing so you know 
big thumbs up for the dramas because you know they apparently help me sound native um, the next one is Against the Tide. This is really good. This is about, um, this is more of a psychological thriller where it focuses on uh, different crime cases and how they're connected to this uh, writer. He's, he writes different um, books on like crime investigation things, but it seems that whoever reads his book is now planning um to do these crimes that it looks like um he's following whatever was said in the book and then doing it in person so they had the police are basically asking the author like you know are you related to what's happening and do you know like what their next move is it's like really really interesting um so yeah christopher lee stars as like the main um like lead role in this because he's the author um really good again this got me absolutely hooked from the first episode. Um, really interesting storyline as well. So completely recommend that. Um, then there's also The Oath. Christopher Lee is also in that. I became a fan of Christopher Lee like overnight after watching all of these dramas. Um, this is about uh, two doctors that have two different approaches to medicine. So one of them's more like your traditional physician that you know works at the hospital, wears the white coat and all of that. And then the other one is more holistic approach with like herbs and you know um different sort of like herbal medicine treatment um and the story unravels to basically show how they respect each other's expertise more um as time goes on but then like their relationship changes and actually this one i feel actually turns quite sinister near like the middle of the end of the story so it's definitely a good watch i recommend that as well again um yeah it is a lot of like medical jargon uh, which i probably won't ever use you know when i need to uh be speaking mandarin with anyone or if i ever visit china i'm not going to be talking about i can't even give you an example because it, it's stuff i don't know about but i'm not going to be talking about like mega like operations or anything but I still think it's good for you to um, learn. It goes without saying like any language that you learn. Like for instance, I've grown up native English. I learn and know of words like operations and things. I don't necessarily use them in my everyday life because I'm, I'm not going to perform surgery. But obviously you need to know what they are and understand what people are talking about, even though you're not going to use it. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the next one on the list is Breakout. Um, again, this stars Christopher Lee and Jeanette Orr. And I was in awe of Jeanette Orr, let me tell you. Her acting is absolutely phenomenal. She plays uh, this lady that basically has a mental breakdown and you just watch her health deteriorate as the storyline develops and how things change and how she has to like overcome certain things or accept certain things. Um, this was without a doubt one of the most favourite ones that I've ever watched that really had me hooked from like the first 20 minutes of watching the episode and absolutely love this one. It really it really makes you get into it and pulls you in. Um, you're literally at the edge of your seat. I just had a look online and I was just like, oh, Jeanette's got uh, an Instagram and she posted some picture. I think she was in the kitchen. It was like completely unrelatable. Uh, but I wanted to comment and just say, look, I've just watched Breakout and I thought you were absolutely amazing. I loved it. Yeah, so like the next day she just replied and was like, thank you so much. That was like one of my most favourite roles that I've ever done. So I was just like, oh my God, Jeanette wrote back to me. Wow. So that was pretty cool. So that encouraged me even more because the fact that, you know, yeah, these people are actors and they're dramas, but they are real people. You just kind of forget when you watch them on like Netflix TV or whatever. So the fact that she wrote back, I was like, that means a lot. So I was blown away again. So that was really cool. The Mandarin is so like advanced, but you know, you don't have to be at advanced level, I feel, to watch these dramas and understand them and enjoy the storyline because you're still going to get the listening experience improved and, you know, understand how real everyday conversation is said in terms of you know the conversations on the phone or in person like how you know it's structured what things to say what things not to say 
um, in terms of like, oh, like copy something, and I'll be like, oh, I thought you you said it like this, but actually they said it like that, and then I check it with a friend, and they'd be like, yeah, that's that's how you say it or whatever. Each time I watch a drama, I feel like oh, I've learnt like a new phrase or an, a new word, or oh, this is how you say this in this particular like moment or whatever. Like I really feel like each drama like really helps me progress, even if it's a tiny little victory, and it's just like oh now I realise why that's said like that or you do this like that it's because you're just constantly listening and progressing your your hearing skills because obviously when I hear a, a native sp speaker talk it's really fast and sometimes I feel like all the words just kind of like blur together and I'm like you didn't say the six words like it's written down you said three so you know, by watching uh, the dramas, you can see that obviously the lips moving, the shape of the mouth is moving, how they're making the sound, and then also following on with either the pinion or whether it's got the English at the bottom. So you can kind of reflect, oh, they've said that, so it obviously means this. Okay, so the last one is actually one of the last dramas that I watched. I've got a massive list, a really long list on Netflix of ones that I keep adding to my list. And I'm like, oh, that looks good. I need to watch that. I've started watching this. I've still not watched them. I plan to. It's just I need to like really like be in the mood to be like right. I'm going to sit down tonight. I'm going to start watching this. Um, and that's another reason why these are in the top five. They're all my favourites. I haven't got like the first one's amazing and this next one is like the worst. It's just that all of these five from the first episode, I felt like whoa, this is so good already. Like within like sort of. I don't know 20 minutes of watching each first episode I was hooked and I wanted to watch it and I was intrigued by the story um so that's why I've only included these but the last one I want to talk about is called A Love So Beautiful and the story of this is basically the ups and downs of high school of these particular students um you know the stuff that goes on in like family life and heartache and you just follow the story of you know these teenagers just going through life and trying to work out who they are and where they want to go um so that's cute in itself because when i did watch the drama i was just like oh been there i know how she feels i know what she wants to say but she can't say it like all this um but every time i do speak to a, like a new native speaker if i'm gonna start doing a language exchange they'll ask and say oh you know what what's your hobbies what what things do you like and i always come back to this drama because it always makes me laugh so much because right at the beginning of the drama there's a girl who's the lead character and she really likes this boy who turns out to be her neighbour and she goes up to him and whispers and she says was she granny i like you and um you could tell by her face and expression that she's like really shy but she really wanted to tell him but then his uh, reply is just brilliant he just says she quan i don't like you and she's just like oh um um, okay then, and then she just runs off. But it just really makes me laugh because, you know, I'm a girl too, I've been a teenage girl and it is embarrassing and scary <laughs> to put yourself on the line and be like um i like you and then to get rejection oh i've been there so but it just made me laugh because i thought it was really funny and cute uh but these are the ones that are like my go-to uh which is probably why i haven't watched a new drama because i'm like these are all so brilliant how could anything else be better than that um but obviously there is there are there are lots of other dramas i know that there's um one on Netflix called The Victim's Game. It stars Joseph Chang and I really like him. Um, he's been in a few films and dramas that I've watched and I really like him as an actor. So I think that's the next one on my list. But if you guys have got any recommendations, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, any that I need to watch that you think I'll enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Ciao y'all. Bye.